Hey guys and welcome back for another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this hexagon block. Um, so this is my second hexagon block and I actually made this myself. Um, I wanted to make it two different colors because I wanted to um, accentuate the hexagonness because I wanted to um, I'm thinking of making a blanket that is sort of like I wanted it to look like a honeycomb if that makes any sense so here is the one that I first worked up and then here is the exact same one but it is all one color so I thought it'd be cool to have some of this variation with the white and the yellow and then some with all yellow so this is a fairly simple pattern that is just single crochets and double crochets and I will show you how to do that so for this pattern I'm using a five millimeter hook so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this one um, it will be easy to know how to make this one because this one's all one color so because there will be color changes I will show you how to make this one so the first thing we're going to start off is our center which will be white and I'm just using a white from Red Heart Super Saver nothing too fancy and I'm going to make my magic circle And I do have a tutorial on how to make your magic circle, so if you want to check that out. And we are going to work six single crochets into the center of this circle. Single crochet is go through the loop, pull up some yarn, yarn over, and then go through both loops. So, in through the loop yarn over back through the loop yarn over and through the two loops so three four five so because we chained one at the beginning then that will count as our first single crochet and now I'm just going to close up the circle. And then I'm going to fasten off and I'm just going to check and make sure that I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So if you want, you can, um, so in these tails as you go or you can leave it till the very end it is up to you sometimes people like to do it while they're doing it because once you get to the end of your project it can be a tad overwhelming having hundreds and hundreds of ends to um, tie in but yeah so the first thing I'm going to do is go through my stitch grab my cornmeal by Red Heart Super Saver and I'm just going to give that a single knot just so that I know it is secure and we're going to work um, two single crochets into each stitch. The first thing I did was chain one, so that's going to count as my first. Go back into that same stitch, do a single crochet, go 
go into the next stitch, do two single crochets. So yeah, you're going to do two single crochets in each stitch. And you will end up with a total of 12 stitches on this round. What's going on there? Two, one, two, one, two, and then you will go back into that first stitch. And then do a slip stitch and that will complete that row and we're gonna work on the next one the next one will be a chain one and then do another single crochet into that same stitch and then we're gonna do two single crochets in the first one, one single crochet into the next one, and repeat that pattern all the way around. And you will end up with a total of 18 stitches. Two, and then one, and then two, So I'm just going to finish that up and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, so I just slip stitch to complete that row and I made sure that I had 18 stitches all the way around. And so now we are going to work on the, on this row, which will be row four. And we are going to start with two chains, so one two and then we're going to go do a double crochet into the next one and then a double crochet into the next one and then we're going to do one two three chains and then go into the next stitch so you're not going to skip any stitches, you're going to go right into the next one and then do a double crochet into the next one and then again so the pattern is three double crochets and then chain three one, two, three so you're going to do that all the way around and when you are done then I will show you how to do the next row. We are going to do a fasten off this row if you are going to be changing colors to the white like I did. So slip stitch and then fasten off when you get to the end. Okay, so I did my last double crochet and we're going to reattach here. So now I'm just going to finish off with my one, two, three, and then go into the top of that stitch and grab some yarn and do a slip stitch. and then pass it off. So you can see that by doing the chain three we are creating corners for our hexagon. And you can already see that it's taking shape.
I'm just going to do a quick sew in that end. Okay, so now we're going to work on our next row and we're going to We're going to attach the white, so we'll go into one of the double crochet stitches and pull through our white. Give it a single knot just to secure it. Put your hook through the stitch, pull up a loop, and then we're going to chain one. And because I'm in this stitch, and now I'm going to be going into my chain three space, I am going to do th three single crochets into this space. One, two, three. So this basically is just a highlight, so we're doing single crochets all the way around. So when you're on top of the double crochets, you're going to do it into the stitches. And then when you're into the chain 3 space, you're just going to do it right into the space. So you don't have to go into the stitch itself. just like that. So this is easy enough so I'm going to leave you here and I will see you at the end of this row. Okay so now that I am at the end of the row I'm just doing my slip stitch, chain one, and then fasten off. So I'm done with the white so far. And now I'm going to finish my last row with the cornmeal color. So I'm going to attach my last do go into that stitch pull up a loop chain two and so what we're going to do is I started on top of this double crochet and so there's three stitches in the chain three space so I'm going to do one double crochet into that first stitch and then into the middle single crochet of this chain three space we are going to do a double crochet chain two and then go back into that same stitch and do another double crochet and then continue along doing a double crochet in every stitch and then when you get to the chain three space, again in the middle, you're going to do that same thing. So keep going. Another reason why we're going to do that two chains is because that will maintain the corner, which gives it the hexagon shape. If you don't do that, then you will end up with a circle, which is fine if that's what you are going for but I am making hexagons so that's not what I'm going for. There's my chain two, double crochet back into that space and then keep going around. So 
So you can see the corner continues. So I'm going to continue along doing my double crochets. Here's the corner again. Chain two, double crochet into that same stitch. Okay, so I will continue on and I will meet you back at the end of the row and we will be finished this block. Okay, so that is it. So this is how I want them to go. And I will have a, a, um, a video of me attaching these. I thought maybe I would do maybe a round or do full ones around. I'm not sure yet. Um, my inspiration for this was because uh, my daughter's nickname is Honeybee. And so I thought... I wanted to make something for her and it wasn't planned because I just did a hexagon tutorial but then I was like I really want to make something that kind of looked like a honeycomb so this is all my pattern I totally made it myself I mean I don't know maybe there could be another one like this I don't know but um, this was totally what I thought of that would look like a honeycomb and the color is perfect with the white so I'm not sure exactly what this is going to be, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look out for me doing the attaching. I will have a video on that. And um, the pattern will be down below in the description box. I will have it over on my blog so you can go there and get the written instructions. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you make this, I would love to see it. And thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!